Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name's Hannah Fay, and today I'm going to be taking apart my Lenovo Idea Pad. This laptop, I bought it a couple years ago for college, and it has served me pretty well. It is literally falling apart, as you can see in the corner there. But uh, other than the physical problems that it has, it also will no longer take charge. And I've replaced the battery on this before, but it's to the point where I'm not even going to deal with it anymore. So instead, I thought I would open it up and let's see what's on the inside. So the first thing I'm doing is just unscrewing all the screws on the back. There's about nine or ten of them. I didn't have a magnetic screwdriver with me, so the screws were kind of sticking in there. That's why I tipped it upside down. Now to take the keyboard off, which is the next step, go ahead and loosen it up. Um, I know my keyboard has clips at the bottom, so I'm loosening it at the top and then kind of sliding it out at an angle at the bottom. And then you want to disconnect it from the motherboard. And then you can take that out. And then there's another screw, and that is for, I believe, the optical drive. And once you take this screw out, your optical drive should just slide right out. So after you get all the screws out, you can go around the edges and separate them. I'm using a tiny little flathead screwdriver, but I, there are tools out there that are made for this exact purpose. Something called a spudger is what you're gonna use. This laptop is trash to me. And that's why I'm just using a flathead screwdriver because I, I don't really care that much about it. I'm not going to put this case back together so I'm not worried about damaging it. All right, now I flipped it over and opened it up and this is what it looks like and that black cord I just disconnected was the power supply and this is your laptop innards this is the RAM if you want to take it out you just slightly pull on the sides and it should pop out just like so this is the only removable RAM I think there were six or eight gigs of RAM in here and this is the other RAM it's soldered onto the board so you can't replace or remove it now I'm gonna take out the hard drive. It is held in by a couple screws. So there's about four screws that are visible. So I thought this was the last screw. So I tried to pull it out, but it wasn't budging and I was a little confused. But then I realized there is another screw, but it's hidden under a sticker. See right there? And I thought, oh, well maybe it's a safety screw. I don't know why. They had to put a sticker there, so I took some time to remove it, and then I found out it's just a regular screw, luckily, so I was able to take that out pretty easily. And then I was able to remove the hard drive. I thought this enclosure was kind of cool, um, probably just because it's clear and you can see everything. I just, I don't know, I like that. I tried to take it off, and then I realized it was screwed in on the side, and I said, whatever, I'll just leave it on there. It's not that big of a deal that I need to take it out of the enclosure. So it's just one terabyte. I'll just keep that for extra storage. Oh, and this is the optical drive. As soon as you unscrew the screws on the back, this will just pop off. And this here is the Wi-Fi card, and it was actually somewhat screwed in, but it wasn't really. It like came out without me unscrewing it. So here I'm just taking the sticker off and showing you where the screw is. Okay, this is the heat sink. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that and the processor is going to be directly underneath it. I thought this heat sink was pretty cool. You know, it's copper. It, it was bigger than I expected. I don't know why, I just expected a smaller heat sink for some reason. So there, I've removed it. You can see all that thermal paste on there. And that is the processor right there. It does not come off. It is soldered to the board just like the RAM. I don't know why manufacturers do this. I, I really don't, but just to prove to you that it can't come off, I'm just, you know, touching it. <laughs> now we are just going to take apart the CPU fan. I'm sorry, we're not gonna take it apart. We're just taking it off of the motherboard. And remember to disconnect it from the motherboard. 
And that is the tiny little CPU fan that's been keeping your laptop cool. That little fan makes a lot of noise. As you can see, the heat sink does have some dust buildup. So maybe if your laptop is running hot, this is how you can disassemble it and maybe blow it out with some compressed air. Here I'm just disconnecting all the other things that are connected to the motherboard, like the speaker, the keyboard, all that stuff. And I'm continuing to unscrew them. This, uh, this connector, that, that kind of confused me because there was a screw and I unscrewed it, but it still didn't really want to come out. And I'm honestly not really sure what that connector is for. Possibly the keyboard? I, I couldn't really figure it out, to be honest. I didn't need to unscrew the whole thing. I just could have pulled it out like I did there, but did I? No. Okay, now I've got everything disconnected. So that thing that I just disconnected there, that green thing, that's your touchpad. That's your mouse. So this is what it looks like when you take your motherboard out. Oh my gosh, I was going crazy over this speaker, you guys. Look at it. That's the most detailed motherboard speaker I've ever seen. I literally am still going crazy over it. I'm shocked at how cute it was. Now I'm gonna show you how to remove the battery. Super simple. You take the top part and there are two screws holding it in and that's it. Super simple, just little screws. You unscrew them and the battery just slides right out. This is one of the easier things to do because batteries need to be replaced fairly often. So they make it pretty easy and that's that. So thank you so much for watching it today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.